بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to Read Made Easy This is your brother Abu Muhammad Today we're going to do the last and the fifth area of Makharij Al-Huruf which is Al-Lisan We're going to find out how many Makharaj points there are We're going to find out which letters are pronounced with the tongue Al-Lisan means the tongue, which letters are pronounced with the tongue We're going to find out how to pronounce these letters clearly and correctly and, and lastly, we're going to find out some of the mistakes that people make when they're pronouncing these letters so we can avoid these mistakes. We have here Al-Lisan. Al-Lisan means the tongue. So I've, there's a picture here. There's a, there's a drawing of the tongue on the board. Now the tongue, there are four different areas, four different areas that the letters can come out from on the tongue. It can be at the back of the tongue. Imagine, here's the tongue. Right at the back of the tongue near the throat, this part. This is called the deepest part of the tongue. There's the middle side of the tongue the sides of the tongue and the tip of the tongue. So with, within these four areas, there are 10 specific makhraj points, 10 specific articulation points within these four areas for 18 letters. Now we're going to find out what they are. Right at the back here, this is the deepest part. Imagine, this is the tongue. This is the front side of the tongue. Right at the back of the tongue, near the throat, there are two letters with two different makhraj points. So overall, there's 10 different makhraj points. So right at the back, Right at the back of the tongue, the two letters share, uh, having two different makhraj points. One for qaf, one for kaf. Qaf, aqo, iqo, uqo, al qalam, qaf. This is a difficult letter. Why? Because it's, it's uncommon in many languages. So with practice, inshallah, just by listening to audios, and with practice, inshallah, we'll, we'll, we'll get this right. So qaf, like al qalam, qaf is right at the back, right at the back, near the throat. And kaf is closer to the mouth and the throat. So qaf. In fact, qaf is not just difficult for non-Arabs. Even, so, even some Arab countries now, some Arab dialects, they change the qaf into another letter. Like the Sham area, Syria, uh, Palestine, Jordan and so on. They change the qaf into an alif. Instead of saying al-qalam, al-qalam, they will say al-alam. Qala, they will say ala. And, and the Khalij, the Gulf, Saudi, Kuwait and so on. Instead of saying al-qalam with a qaf, they change it to a g, al-galam. Al-Galam, or Huwa Gala, Huwa Qala. Instead of saying Huwa Qala, they'll say Huwa Gala because of the difficulty of this letter. So, the, so this letter just needs practice. Just listen to, uh, more, listen to the audio. Re, uh, repeat it again and again. Inshallah, we'll, we'll get this right. So Qaf, Qa. It's a heavy letter. Qa, Qaf, Al-Qalam. Just beneath that is a Kaf. Kaf, which is like a K in English. Al-Kitab. Al-Kitab. So two, two letters with two different Makhraj points. Now we have your middle side of the tongue. The three letters sharing one makhraj point. So three letters sharing one makhraj point. And these three letters are Jim, Sheen, and Ya. So Jim, Al Jannah, like the J in English, Al Jannah, Aj, Ij, Uj, Al Jannah. And we don't pronounce it like the J in French, like Jannah, Ja. It's not Al Jannah. That's incorrect. Ja, Aj, Ij, Uj, Al Jannah. We have here Sheen, Sh. Sheen, Ashams, and Ya, Ayyam. This is pronounced right in the middle of the tongue. Now we have here, on the side of the tongue, there are two letters having one makhraj point each. Dad, there's a makhraj point for Dad, and Lam, a makhraj point for, for, uh, for Lam. Arabic language is the only language that has Dad. The only language that pronounces Dad is the Arabic language. So this will be difficult for non Arabs. But with practice and listening, inshallah, we'll get this right. The makhraj point for Dad is. The side of the tongue, one of the sides of the tongue, either left side, right side or the left side of the tongue, or you can use both sides at the same time. What lies opposite to it are the molars, the front right side of the molars and the left, and the left side of the molars. So upper left right molars and upper left molars. So what lies opposite to the side of the tongue? Bod. Bod is a heavy letter that has a, that, that's pronounced with a, a lot of air, full of air on the mouth. Bod. Ab. Al-Maghdubi, al and so on. Bad. Then we have here Lam. Lam is pronounced, and it's pronounced uh, on, the, on the edge of the tongue as well. So Lam, Al-Lisan. Then we have here tip of the tongue. There are 11 letters that are pronounced at the tip of the tongue with five different makhraj points. So 11 letters. So most of the letters are pronounced at the edge uh, with the tip of the tongue. 
Nun here, the first one, Nun has its own makhraj. Nun, an, in, un, an, ni'ma, the makhraj point for Nun is the tip of the tongue. What lies opposite to it is the gums of the front two teeth, the front two incisors. So these are the incisors, the front incisors, the gums of the incisors, the tip of the tongue lies uh, opposite to the gums of the incisors. So, an, an, in, un, an, nirma. And beneath the noon, so imagine if noon is here, beneath the noon is a ra. Al rih, al rih. Instead of, instead, of touching, instead of touching the tip of the tongue, it's the top, top tip of the tongue, top tip of the tongue with the gum line. So imagine noon is here, beneath it, instead of the tip of the tongue, the top, front, the, the, the top tip of the tongue. So, al-rih, al-rih, ra, ri, ru, al-rih. Then we have here one makhraj point for three letters. Ta, delta, al-teen, al-deen, al-teen. These three letters, the makhraj point for th th these three letters are tip of the tongue, tip of the tongue, touches the gum line of the front two teeth. So imagine, imagine, here's the front two teeth, okay? This is the gum line, the gum line. So tip of the tongue touches the gum line. So, ta will be ta. Tip of the tongue touches the gum line, the line, the gum line of the front two teeth. So, ta, 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 ed, ed, ud, at, atin. Then we have here next three letters are the letters Sophie letters, the whistling sound. These three letters they've got the attributes of a whistling sound. So, sa, sa, za, z, z, and sin. So, sa, as, as, sal, sal, za, az, az, zumar, and sin, as, samawat. These three letters, the makhraj point is the tip of the tongue. Tip of the tongue. Tip of the tongue is pronounced between the plates of the front two teeth, the front incisors and the bottom incisors. So, imagine, front two incisors are the front two teeth and the bottom two teeth. So, the plates are in between the two. So, I've got the top one, bottom one, so in between. So, so this will be us, us right in between, us, as in between, and as, as. Then the last, last three letters, va, thal, and tha. These three letters, al dil, al dil, and al thawab or al thamarat. Where's the makhraj point? The tip of the tongue. Tip of the tongue touches. Tip of the tongue touches the bottom edges of the front two teeth. Imagine the front two teeth, the, the incisors here. Tip of the tongue touches the edge of the incisor. Al-wil, 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 al-thamarat, or al-thawab. So this is, uh, in a nutshell, this is what the, what, what the fifth, letter, uh, fifth area of the, of the, of the makharaj point is. Al-lisan. So al-lisan here, the four different areas. Deepest part, so this is right at the back. Middle part, the size, and the tip of the tongue. So just to summarize everything. The makharij al huruf is just where the letters are articulated from. There are five different areas. There's the empty part of the throat and the mouth, al jawf. There's the khayshum, the nasal passage from the nostrils going down. The shafatan, the two lips. There's al halq, the throat. And today we did the al lisan, the tongue. Inshallah, in the next lesson, we're going to start the, the sifat al huruf, the characteristics and qualities of the letters. We found out where the letters are articulated from, where the letters come out from. Now we're going to find out how to pronounce the letters, what characteristics the letters have so we can pronounce it clearly. So it's not enough to just pronounce, to take out the letters from the correct place. We have to know how to correctly pronounce these letters as well. So we'll find out some of the letters that have the characteristics of a bouncing echo sound. Some of the letters, A has to flow with it. Some of the letters are heavy, some of the letters are light, and so on. So inshallah we'll find, this, we'll find out this in the next lesson inshallah. Until then, jazakum khairan, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.